Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at AWS Responsibility Model. AWS uses shared responsibility model by providing tools to help customers manage security and compliance. AWS is responsible for security of the cloud. AWS protects the infrastructure that runs all the services, such as physical facility, networking, virtualization, software and hardware which compose the infrastructure. Customers are responsible for security in the cloud. They must manage the security of resources, which are created on top of AWS infrastructure, such as data inside S3, firewalls of EC2 instances, and security credentials of IAM users. AWS provides cloud infrastructure and has responsibility for everything which composes the cloud infrastructure. AWS is responsible to maintain secure global locations including regions, availability zones, and edge locations. For instance, they must provide high security of physical data centers to prevent someone breaks into the facility. AWS is responsible for everything that composes physical infrastructure, such as server racks, power cables, and physical devices. AWS is responsible to provide secure underlying compute, storage, database and networking for customers. For instance, they must provide safe physical hosts and virtualization under EC2 instances, and secure networking that connects each instance. AWS is responsible for software platforms under managed services. For instance, AWS manages software patches, security updates of underlying compute resources of AWS Lambda, Amazon S3 and DynamoDB. You are responsible for resources and data inside the infrastructure, and data transferred into or out of AWS. You need to manage data integrity and authentication. You are responsible for client-side encryption before sending them to AWS. You are responsible for server-side encryption and protect your data at rest. For instance, you can enable server-side encryption for S3 buckets, RDS database, and EBS volumes. You are responsible to configure the network traffic, encryption in transit, and control the authentication and integrity. For instance, you can create SSL for your APIs, and set up VPN for secure network traffic. You are responsible for the guest operating system, network control and firewalls. For example, you can launch EC2 instances inside a VPC, configure security groups, and update security patches. You are responsible for the platform and application you have installed. You should manage IAM users, groups and roles, make sure credentials are secure, and assign appropriate IAM policies. As you have full control over your own data, you are responsible to apply compliance rules and security best practices on your data. In general, you are not responsible for anything you don't have direct access to. Services like EC2 are considered as AWS infrastructure as a service. AWS manages the infrastructure including the host OS, virtualization and hardware. You don't have direct access to control the infrastructure. Therefore you are not responsible for the infrastructure. However, you are responsible for guest OS of EC2 instances, software installed, security groups, and VPC configuration, as you have direct access to them. For services like DynamoDB, S3 and Lambda, you have no direct access to the underlying guest OS, hence not responsible for it. In this episode, we've learned AWS Responsibility Model. AWS uses shared responsibility model to help to manage security and compliance. AWS is responsible for security of the cloud, including physical facility, hardware, and software that compose the cloud infrastructure. Customers are responsible for security in the cloud, including resources and services they have direct access to. Okay, that's all for AWS shared responsibility model. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.